see uh, this is a synchronizer hub okay so it is having an internal spline that will be fitting into the outer splines on the main shaft in this video you will be showing it slowly so that you can understand well so now uh, i am fitting the synchronizer hub okay and you have to ensure that my synchronizer hub always rotating with the shaft whenever the shaft is rotating my synchronizer hub will be rotating okay not uh, gear gear are free to rotate on the bearings see is showing now the previous video we have shown three reasons okay three slots so synchronizer hub will be having the three slots see we are having our three slots now that is the uh, this portion in the circle we are going to put the spring and we are going to mount the sleeve okay so this you can see the assembly so this is synchronizer sleeve okay the sleeve will be having internal teeth that will be meshing with external teeth of the hub okay so see he is assembling the sleeve on the hub this one is a gear that is a free spinning on the output shaft okay we are using a helical gears and you can have this uh, dog clutch teeth okay and this is the frictional surface that going to form a cone clutch see that is in needle bearing i am mounting the gears so that my gear rotation is independent of the shaft okay so gears will be freely rotating on the bearing you can see the needle bearing so initially it is a synchronizer now only they are fitting the needle bearing okay listen this is the synchronizer okay i i have uh, interchanged the name you please correct it this is the synchronizer and uh, this is the gear that is a uh, where uh, i am going to take the power okay so this is the dog clutch teeth on the gear and this will be the teeth on the synchronizer ring okay that is you can see it is a freely spinning okay now you can see again i am showing the video freely spinning see the shaft is not rotating only gear is rotating so when i am applying the force no uh, this is getting locked with the gear locking means allowing the two units to rotate at the same speed 
so when i am moving this uh, synchronizer unit towards left what will happen both the teeth will not be co coming into engagement first uh, frictional surface will be coming into contact once the speeds are equalized then teeth on the synchronizer ring will be engaged with the teeth of the gear that is dog clutch teeth of the gear okay so you have to understand clearly see okay once it is going there it will be locked see you see this video this is very very important how frictional contact is going to get in uh, established so this is the gear it is having a teeth and here i am having a sleeve okay so this one is the synchronizer uh, blocker ring okay so this brass color one will be fitted on the synchronizer okay see the synchronization will be done by this uh, ring only it will be ensuring that the two mating components speed will be same then only it will be allowing to engagement okay otherwise if the speeds are not same it will not be allowing the sleeve to get engaged with the gears okay so the main function synchronizer will be uh, synchronizing will be done by this brass spring okay you can see my uh, the brass ring no that is a synchronizer ring that will be fitting on the uh, you can see the conical surface that is on the gear okay so due to the frictional contact it will be taking the speed the speed will be equalized further movement of the sleeve a uh, sleeve okay that will be moving the teeth of this ring uh, that is a synchronizer ring that teeth will be getting engaged with the dog clutch of the gear then power will get transmitted okay initially what will happen it will go and it will be touch the frictional surface that is on the gear it will be taking the speed then once the speeds are synchronized mating of the teeth will take place okay so in order to have a clear understanding you can see here again i will show the video see this is the frictional surface okay it is going to take the speed now See, these are the frictional surface. Okay, so this due to this friction only, my synchronizer speed will be equal to that of gear. Once it is equalized, the teeth on my synchronizer uh, ring will be getting a match with uh, teeth on my dog clutch. Okay. See, the frictional lining is on the inner side. Listen carefully. I can go for fiber also. so it is a sleeve or they may be using the word uh, key okay see this is a sleeve or uh, key now you will be showing the now you uh, please uh, listen carefully this is the synchronizer uh, sleeve and this one is synchronizer ring and uh, that is inside i am having a friction lining that will be mating with the frictional surface of the gear okay so it will be taking the speed then i when i am going to move the sleeve what will happen this two teeth will be getting engaged okay that is you will be having a synchronizer ring on either side 
this is for one gear ratio and this is for another gear ratio i think now it will be clear okay this video will be more useful so now he is rotating the entire uh, synchronizer okay see entire synchronizer two rings see the key is uh, fitted here it will be allowing to move the synchronizer see now it will be more clear this one no uh, see my mouse arrow that is my brass ring that is attached to the synchronizer this one is synchronizer up and uh, synchronizer sleeve okay yeah, everything is uh, fitted there and uh, there will be a key that will be moving the synchronizer up towards uh, here okay and here in the speed gear i am having what a dog clutch there a friction lining is there so outer the friction lining the brass uh, ring will be getting fit that okay now you see the animation see now it is getting a uh, fitted no it is taking the speed then teeth are getting engaged okay that's all now he is showing the working now see is going to move first initial movement uh, the we are going to take the speed from the gear that is the frictional surface will be coming into contact it will be gaining the speed then further movement uh, the teeth will be getting engaged then it will be taking the uh, motion from the gear and it will be transmitting to the output shaft you can see the animation now it is not animation it is a working okay now see it is engaged okay teeth is getting engaged okay i think you might have understood a uh, synchronizer gearbox somewhat so yes, real uh, understanding can be achieved when you are practically you are assembling this uh, component okay so that yes, is sir. very very important and uh, another important information i will be sharing with this uh, synchronizer uh, gearbox so you can see the spring loaded bolts okay so what it is going to do is it will be holding the two collars uh, together i told no the sleeve and another portion yes uh, a strut the, he is using the word strut this man is using the word uh, key okay so they will not allow the sliding okay whenever the speed it has to be synchronized i have to overcome the spring force okay so now you can see when i am applying the force a pressure on the gear lever see then only i am overcoming the spring force and uh, taking the synchronizer unit towards the gear okay and uh, you can see this uh, sketch also here you can see dock clutch of the gear okay 
this one is uh, here we are having what teeth you can use the word dog clutch or dog teeth okay and this one this clutch is uh, somewhat uh, very good to understand okay this assembly is a synchronizer and this is the way to which i have to make a assembly you can see the ball supported by the spring okay so you can see the cone see cut section cone this cone please see carefully this cone and this one only is going to come into contact that is the frictional contact will be achieved later similar to teeth here we will be having what a teeth on the synchronizer okay that will be engaged okay so this screw is for uh, selector fork okay see screw is for selector fork another important thing i want to share is you will not be using synchronizer for all the gears okay it is beyond the information given in the book see here for first gear i am using synchronizer no normally for first gear and reverse gear i will not be using synchronizer since the speed equalization problem will not be much in order to reduce the cost i will not be using synchronizer for first and reverse okay and i will be using it for second as well as uh, top so what you have to understand is in a synchronous gearbox always the output shaft will be rotating and uh, the gear changing only during gear changing only my synchronizer will be working okay so this information let me show it here see synchronizer is normally not used in first and reverse gear that is a practical point of view that is where to use synchronizer is in higher gear only okay so this one also you please make a note always output shaft is rotating okay it is connected to the wheel so always it will be rotating so power transmission uh, for higher gears synchronizer will be coming okay so that's, so that's why i have a speed sir adanalada okay. vande speed appa torque kammi irukku sir edhu pa speed speed ka adhaadhu gear engage aagumbodhu we are doing speed reduction and multiplying the torque okay this is the most advanced topic and you will be able to understand well when practically you are dismantling the synchronous gearbox and practically you have to do uh, the cut section model that is uh, you have to see the have, by motor we have to rotate and you have to see how it is uh, matting is going to come so uh, you will make have understood 60 to 70% further understanding let us do a demo on this so that you will be able to understand well okay so somewhat uh, advanced topic and uh, i think you might have understood something in synchronous gearbox at least 70 or 70% you might have uh, learned okay so other things hands on training means you will be able to understand 100% completely okay and most important for examination point of view so for examination that is why i am spending too much time no for theory point of view this much will be sufficient so i am simply telling frictional will be coming into picture and power will be transmitted in order to know the real synchronous gearbox that is a practical assembly then we we used to study you know that is the they will be asking you to mesh the assemble the synchronous gearbox at the time we faced some difficulty so we didn't we don't have some uh, persons to guide us okay so now due to the advancement in technology videos are there so we learned now and i am showing that videos also to you so that uh, how we can assemble the synchronous gearbox so i will be sharing this uh, link to you third video is very very useful
so next class will be seeing the gear ratios that is uh, out to that is i thought of uh, solving this problem today we have seen a synchronous gear box so that uh, your uh, our mind will not be fresh to start a new problem because we have spent more time in explaining this uh, synchronous gear box so uh, next class we will be starting this problem that is out to fix uh, that is out to do gear ratio calculation with that uh, this unit will be over you see the syllabus of this unit this vvvc the same thing will be coming in automotive transmission also see here we have discussed uh, please uh, please mute your call okay vishnu vijay kumar is there okay so now you can see first class we have seen uh, requirements of transmission system and we have seen different types of clutch and gearbox we have discussed and uh, next thing is gear ratio determination only we have to do other things we have studied in vddc so today i am completing unit 1 except gear ratio that will be uh, seeing in the next class and we will be starting the hydrodynamic transmission that is a fluid coupling torque capacity so everything will be uh, starting in the next class okay so see here uh, this portion performance characteristics in different speed problems on performance of automobile resistance to motion tractive effort engine speed power and acceleration this one and all you have to refer from vddc okay already i thought in vddc so the same thing only you have to adapt okay okay shall we see in the next class any doubts guys it is no, a complicated sorry, no. topic synchronous uh, gearbox so we will stop with that so freshly we will start the second unit in the next class okay any doubt okay, means uh, you can ask otherwise you can cut the call and we can no doubt sir okay